Behind the thickest walls and beyond the reach of ordinary sight, there exist places designed to contain the most dangerous individuals on Earth. From the freezing isolation of Siberia to the sweltering heat of the Sahara, these are no ordinary facilities. These are the fortresses that house nightmares. With unparalleled security measures, tales of unthinkable isolation, and regimes that test the limits of human endurance, they stand as ultimate tests of survival. Join us as we unlock the secrets of these forbidding institutions. Witness the stories of those who guard and those who dwell within the impenetrable walls. Dare to enter the shadows. Discover what lies within the toughest prisons in the world. The Florence Supermax, officially known as the United States Penitentiary, Administrative Maximum Facility, ADX in Florence, Colorado, stands as the zenith of maximum security and solitary confinement within the U.S. federal prison system. Opened in 1994, this facility was conceived in response to the growing need for a secure environment to house the nation's most dangerous and intractable criminals. Its moniker, the Alcatraz of the Rockies, aptly reflects its status as the most secure prison in America a place where escape is considered impossible. Today we're going to talk about the conditions under which prisoners are held at ADX Florence. Subscribe to our channel and like it. Firstly, the infrastructure is incredibly detailed and comprehensive. Every cell and office shines with cleanliness, devoid of any scuff marks, insects, or burnt out light bulbs. It's as though ADX Florence was designed by a visionary architect with a penchant for perfection who would not tolerate the slightest flaw. Nestled in a remote area, ADX Florence's design and operational protocols emphasize absolute control and minimal human contact, aimed at mitigating the risks of violence and escape attempts. Inmates here are kept in solitary confinement for about 23 hours a day in cells made of reinforced concrete, equipped with a bed, desk, and stool all molded from the same material underscoring the facility's emphasis on security over comfort. A small window allows inmates a sliver of natural light, but offers no view of the outside world, reinforcing their isolation. Secondly, the silence is absolute. Inside ADX Florence, no sound penetrates. Guards operate within specially designed silent booths to avoid any disturbance. An oppressive silence pervades the prison, with inmates never encountering each other. They spend 23 hours a day in cells that are thoroughly soundproofed. Lawyers are permitted to navigate the facility, but their interaction is limited strictly to their clients. Thirdly, the guards are unique. Unlike other prisons where some level of interaction between inmates and guards occurs, ADX Florence stands apart. Here, guards have minimal contact with inmates, with operations like door openings being controlled remotely, Inmate surveillance is conducted via video cameras, and guards are bound by strict protocols. They avoid eye contact with inmates and refrain from swearing. Their duties are highly repetitive, performed day in and day out. The United States houses an extensive network of correctional facilities, but ADX Florence is distinguished by these practices. Despite its primary focus on security, the Florence Supermax does engage in efforts toward rehabilitation offering limited programs for mental and emotional health. However, the effectiveness of these programs is a subject of ongoing debate among critics and human rights advocates, who argue that the extreme conditions of solitary confinement have detrimental effects on inmates' psychological well-being. Inmates housed at the Florence Supermax include those convicted of the most severe crimes, ranging from terrorism to espionage and notorious criminal masterminds, their presence there underscores the facility's role as a last resort institution for individuals deemed too dangerous for the regular prison population. While the Florence Supermax represents a pinnacle of prison security technology, it also embodies the complex ethical dilemmas surrounding the use of solitary confinement and the balance between ensuring public safety and upholding the rights and dignity of inmates. As such, it continues to be a focal point of discussions on criminal justice and penal reform. 
Today, ADX Florence stands as a successful model for incarcerating the most dangerous criminals and rehabilitating the most violent ones. After years of solitary confinement, some inmates earn the privilege to attend group classes. The most compliant among them are eventually transferred back to the prisons where they initially began their sentences. Black Dolphin Prison, officially known as Penal Colony No. 6, is located in Orenburg, Russia, and stands as one of the most notorious maximum security prisons in the world. This facility houses Russia's most serious offenders, including murderers, terrorists, and cannibals, with many of its inmates serving life sentences for their crimes. The prison's ominous name, Black Dolphin, originates from the statue of a black dolphin located at the prison's entrance, symbolizing the institution's strength and the idea of perpetual captivity. Established in the 18th century, Black Dolphin has evolved into a symbol of the ultimate level of security and confinement within the Russian penal system. Inmates at Black Dolphin are subjected to extremely strict control measures around the clock. They live under constant surveillance and their movements are severely restricted. The prisoners are kept in cells that are designed to prevent any form of escape, with each cell being equipped with a set of three steel doors. One of the most distinctive aspects of Black Dolphin Prison is the regimen that the inmates are subjected to. Inmates are kept in their cells for 23 hours a day, with only one hour allowed for exercise. During this exercise period, prisoners are blindfolded and escorted by multiple guards to prevent any chance of orientation or escape planning. This level of control extends to every aspect of their daily lives, from sleeping to eating, with prisoners being required to maintain a particular posture when not lying down to sleep. In addition to the physical constraints, the psychological impact on inmates is profound. The isolation and stringent rules are intended not only to punish but also to ensure that those who have committed the most heinous crimes are kept away from society and any potential victims. This has made Black Dolphin a place of both fascination and horror, embodying the extreme end of punishment within the criminal justice system. The reputation of Black Dolphin Prison underscores the complex balance between the need for public safety and the ethical considerations of inmate treatment. It serves as a stark reminder of the depths of human capacity for both crime and punishment, and continues to be a subject of discussion and debate among human rights advocates, criminologists, and the general public. Terre Haute Prison The United States Penitentiary in Terre Haute, Indiana, commonly referred to as Terre Haute Prison, holds a distinct position within the American federal prison system. Established in 1940, this facility has evolved over the decades to become a key institution for housing male offenders, including those who require maximum security measures. Its location in the Midwest far from the coastal metropolises underscores a strategic choice for placing such a significant facility within the heartland of America. Terre Haute Prison is notably home to the federal death row for male inmates. This aspect of the prison came into prominence in the late 20th and early 21st centuries as it became the primary site for federal executions in the United States. The execution chamber at Terre Haute has witnessed the culmination of some of the most significant and debated death penalty cases in recent U.S. history. The prison's role in carrying out federal death sentences places it at the center of ongoing national conversations about justice, rehabilitation, and capital punishment. Beyond its association with the death penalty, Terre Haute Prison is a complex institution that houses inmates with a wide range of sentences. The facility is divided into multiple security levels, including a high security unit, a medium security unit, and a minimum security satellite camp. This stratification allows for the management of inmates according to their security needs and rehabilitation prospects. The prison also engages in various inmate work and educational programs aimed at rehabilitation and skill development. These programs are designed to provide inmates with the tools necessary to reintegrate into society upon release, reflecting a broader trend in the criminal justice system towards reducing recidivism through education and meaningful work. Terry Haute Prison, with its multifaceted role in the federal prison system, embodies the complexities of modern incarceration practices. It serves as a reminder of the challenges and responsibilities inherent in the administration of justice particularly concerning the application of the death penalty. 
As debates over criminal justice reform continue to evolve, the future of institutions like Terre Haute Prison remains a focal point for discussions on how best to balance public safety, rehabilitation, and the ethical considerations of punishment. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey into the shadows of crime and justice. Remember, the stories we share are not just tales of caution, but reminders of the resilience and complexity of the human spirit. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and join us next time as we continue to uncover the mysteries that lurk behind the headlines. Until then, keep your eyes open and your curiosity alive. This is Crime Chronicles, signing off. Stay safe, everyone.